Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dark Souls 3. Today we are going to be going back to Pharaon's Keep or the Keep of Pharaon, whatever way you want to pronounce it. It's up to you. This is a pick your own adventure, only I'm the one controlling it, but you can still say what place you want it to be called. So that's that's a good thing, right? We, we could a pick your own name adventure? Right? Sure, why not? Either way, I don't like this guy. Let's kill him. Oh good. This is- there we go! We'll kill you on the slide down, how about that? Yeah, you didn't even know we were coming, did ya? <laughs> I tricked you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Not enough stamina for this. I like how this time they are not, um... Not, uh... Turning into their... Monkey crow thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> flying monkey crows. So I guess uh, it's because we killed the first one a little bit quicker than we did the other time? Perhaps? Maybe? That's my guess, at least. Um, I want to explore around because I remember last time we really didn't do all too too much in this area because we just kept getting too shotted to death. So hopefully that is not the case this time. I don't like these guys, though, so we're gonna kill them. Perfect, but in theory, Altrich should be somewhere around here. We will have to use the doll, but I want to continue just going through uh, the area regularly to start with. And then we'll figure out something about that doll a little bit later. I just want to see where this actually goes to. Oh, I see a dark wraith. Uh-oh, you're gonna try stealing all my humanity again, right? Maybe this time at least it won't one-shot us. So that would be cool. Oh, oh, and a kick! You're a mean-spirited person. No wonder you're a dark wraith. Yeah, horrible, horrible human being. Cracked red eye orb, that's fitting. Something's dying. Oh, yeah, because there's a, a party going on, right? We remember this. The old... The old party. Let's let them uh, kill themselves. There we go. Now you're running away? Okay. Sure. Hey! Wow, they're uh, they're pretty good at what they do. But that's what happens when you're good at what you do. Someone uh, comes and slashes you in the face. Or in the back. Ah, the back. The face of the spine. <laughs> right? I'm, I'm sure that's how it works. I Oh, what the... What are you, Mr. Sneaky? You look like you're either going to wreck us or you're going to... I don't want to find out. Hey, we do damage to you, though. And you're not even going to get to attack, so one day we'll have to solve this riddle of what you do. I feel like maybe one of the trees is going to be alive, just like uh, in Dark Root Garden. Because if our theory is correct, this is Dark Root Garden-ish. Not 100% certain on that, but I, I feel like it would fit for it to be Dark Root Garden. Which was the land of Ulysil before that, and now we've turned it into Hepharon's keep of goodness and prosperity. Filled with rainbows, unicorns, happy faces, and kindness. Yay! To all of these things. Oh, I see. Okay, both are gonna come attacking. Fair enough, one has a shield. And one has a stabby sword. Oh, both have a shield. Okay. That's fine. Your stabby sword just poisons us. That's not a huge issue, to be quite honest with you. If that's the worst you got, I'm not super concerned. Take that. Oh, we are much better leveled for these guys now. I don't know how many levels we gained since uh, we've been here last, but clearly it was enough to make this a viable place to go. Something's bashing on the gates, so let's keep our shield up as something's about to pop out, I'm sure. Or maybe not. We're gonna leave that for a second. Just to take a tour around. See what else is in the environment, like this little sneaky, uh, sneaky little guy. Rawr to you too. Why does everything want to scream at me? Like, come on. Why don't you want to be nice to me? I don't think it's a lot to ask, is it? 
I'm also still curious if we've actually done frost damage to anything, and if that's making our lives easier because they're not able to attack as fast. But I really do not know. Let's see if we can be sneaky on this guy. Do, 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 do. Watch, we're gonna get stabbed by something else. But there we go. Have a good one. And ooh, black bug pellet. So I bet you that cure is dark. Doesn't look like anything is killing us. So let's take a look at it, shall we? Temporarily boost dark damage absorption. Medicinal pellet made from crushed insects. The black type temporarily boosts dark damage absorption. At all times, the abyss watchers of the undead legion keep a supply of these concoctions prepared by the acolytes. Rumor has it their guru descendants still make though these concoctions. Well. Ain't that cool. So that would be the, um... I'm assuming that would be the same thing as has made the other bug pellets, so the crazy little witch things that laugh at us and shoot bleed magic and just are a whole lot of fun. But it looks like the only way to go is through, so uh, let's find out what's through this scary gate. Dun dun dun! What do we got? 16 enemies? Rawr. No? Alright, fair enough. Oh! Uh oh! What do we have here? New boss? Or new area? That's the question of the day. Oh! This is kinda cool. What are you guys doing? <laughs> oh, jeez! Now there's only one of ya. Who are you is the question. And are you a boss? I think you may be. Got a dagger, so parrying dagger maybe? So we have to watch out for that. Is it a boss, though, or just an enemy? Let's find out. Abyss Watchers! Not one, multiple. So that's gonna be good old-fashioned fun. This is like a, a hunter fight, though. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy that they, uh... Uh-oh. We'll see how happy I am in a couple seconds, but as of now, I am really happy about this. Oh, shit, okay. So... You're having a great time. Let's heal before... I wonder how many come and if they actually will die, or if we have to... Yeah, this, I think they're not gonna die. I have a feeling we're just gonna have to do as much... Oh, actually. Okay, so we can... Oh my god, no, we can't. Heal. Let's kill. Oh, oh, oh my god, this guy just does more damage than the actual boss does to me. That's funny. And now you're... This is a really interesting boss fight. Get my stamina back. We don't have much time, probably, before we're gonna have some more fun on our hands. Uh-oh. Really? I want to heal, and then we should be able to kill him. There, done. Boss defeated. Problem solved. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not the end of this boss, is it? That's phase one. There's gonna be a second phase. Oh, jeez. So is this going to be the Lord now? Now that they're all dead, they're all going to combine into one? Oh, we got some fire. Damn it, I didn't bring any fire resistance. Didn't expect this. Tell you that. Lord of Cinder, there we go. Welcome to the real Dark Souls 3. Let's fight a Lord, shall we? 
I wonder if the other ones still spawn or if we're at least done with that. And now we get just a real fight to the end. Either way, I'm excited for this. Uh, where are you, though? There you go. I'm so excited for this. Oh, this is like, uh, Maria. Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower 2.0. Uh, I guess I don't have too, too bad a fire defense. I didn't think I had good fire defense, but... This guy is awesome! He's... Just the animation work. I love the animation work in this game. It's... oh. It's exactly what you'd expect. We're doing a huge chunk of damage to this guy. But he's doing a good chunk of damage to us, too, so we'll call that fair, right? Done. Cinders of a Lord, Soul of the Blood of the Wolf, Ember Restored, Defeat Abyss Watchers, lots of lots of letters and words all coming together, and a decent chunk of souls. Well, that's cool. On second thought, it would have been cool just to finish this area. I honestly really thought that this would be, like, a whole darn thing. But that's awesome. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Well, we have taken down a Lord of Cinder. I really like that fight. We were doing a lot of damage to it. But, to be fair, he was doing some darn good damage to us, too. Bonfire lit. Let's go see if we can... What's going on? Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go back and level up, and then we're gonna deal with that, because that seems like the better idea. I'll be back, you guys. And we are back, you guys. I am really curious if there is anything on the grave, but I want to talk with everyone because someone has to have some new dialogue from that, right? The Lords of Cinder, the Undead Legion. So that's how they're delivered to their thrones. <laughs> I pity the sorry souls. Is that really Lordship's last reward? I failed to thank you for helping them find their final resting place. Faron Ring. <laughs> I pity the sorries. <laughs> yeah, so that, again, that's showing that he was part of uh, part of the wolf thing. Let's uh, read the item descriptions, then we'll continue uh, talking with everyone on the face of the earth. Um, soul of the blood of the wolf. The blood was spread amongst the Abyss Watchers, and their souls are one with the soul of the Wolf Blood Master. Okay. Uh, we got a crown, too, which is a key item. Cinders of a Lord left by the Abyss Watchers. If the Lords will not return to their thrones themselves, let them return as cinders. The Watchers of the Abyss swore upon their shared wolf's blood, which also served as their mandate as lords. And last but not least, we just picked up a Faron Ring. Uh, where are you? Faron Ring. A ring given to undead Legion of Faron reduces skill FP consumption. The Abyss Watchers, for their hunting, required a sword technique that went well beyond any existing art. Wolf's blood provided just that, and this ring further extends the effect. Reduces skill consum FP consumption. That's one thing we... I really haven't been using weapon arts at all. I maybe should start doing it, but I, I don't two-hand my weapon enough. Hmm. Let's see if the engraving's changed. Watchers of the Abyss. Offer Cinders of a Lord. Hmm, so I'm assuming we'll have to do that. 
But let's check with our other dude and see if there is something that you can, um... Transpose that way. Because that would be cool, but we will see if that's what you actually have to do or not. Ah, most illustrious Lord Seeker. Or should I say, Lord Slayer. Fine kindling for the thrones, is it not? Each soul truly worthy of lordship. And all slain by thy hand to bind them to their thrones, even in death. Oh, I have no qualms. For as we are to our thrones, thou art to thy duty. In fact, methinks thou hast helped these poor lords along their rightful path. Ah, most fun and also in... All right, let's see if, uh, so can we use any of these yeah okay so we have the wolf tonight greatsword greatsword of a knight tainted by the dark of the abyss and master of the wolf's blood of pharaon the wolf knight was the first abyss watcher and his sword is more punishing against creations of the abyss skill wolf sword while in stance use normal attacks for low spinning slash or strong attacks to leap forward in a vertically slashing somersault awesome and may that be Artorius's sword? I don't remember the exact look of the sword, to be honest, but maybe. It very well could be. Uh, Pharaon Greatsword. Greatsword of the Abyss Watchers, which is atypically paired with an unusual dagger. Hey, that's uh, what that guy was using. Uh, the dagger is utilized as a wedge in the left hand, while the greatsword is held in the right, a unique technique that is synonymous with the Undead Legion confounds foes in the manner of wolves hunting prey and it can parry and those are the two things that we get from it uh let's see what it looks like so strength is the good one there and dexterity is the good one there hmm. nothing too crazy about them but okay fair enough yes 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 we already know that tell us something we don't know um, let's talk to the rest of the people and then we'll, uh, put that on. Welcome. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone else had anything to say, but we do get some new items from the shop now. Uh, Undead Legion Helm, Attire of the Abyss Watchers, the Undead Legion of Pharaon. These undead warriors vowed to partake of wolf blood. They acted in the dark, seeking out any sign of the abyss, fighting a constant war with its abominations. This pointed steel helm was a distinct symbol of the Legion shirked as a sinister omen by the masses. So, I guess all there is left to do is put on the Offer Cinders of a Lord. Let's do it. What did this do? Did it do something? Put on something on there. Couldn't tell you what it is, but did something. I wonder if the description of the throne changes now. That was kind of anticlimactic. But that's not unusual for Dark Souls to do. Nope, just Watchers of the Abyss still, hey? So, can I get a good look at exactly what it is? Looks like they're, um, they're helmets. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough, we will, uh, we will take it. We will take it. Alright, you guys, and we are back at Faron Keep. I want to see what on earth this, uh, hidden path does. Can I touch the cup? Nope. I cannot. So I wonder if this just auto-opens, or if this opens because... I had something in my inventory, like the doll? Maybe the doll actually... Catacombs of Carthus. I don't actually know. But either way, new area to explore, which is never a bad thing, right? How could we go wrong with a new area? That guy looks creepy. This whole area looks super creepy. I love it. 
Alright, what, uh, what's gonna wreck us? Oh, I switched the, the position of my wand and my uh, torch. So, that may help us. It looks like we can drop down there, but I don't know if we want to. Keep that in mind, though. I see an item, and I see skeletons. So, are they gonna respawn, or are they actually gonna die? I'm betting respawn, because they didn't give us... Yeah. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I'm sure there's a trick... Karthus Rogue... We won't be able to read any item descriptions, unfortunately, because... Well, because that's what happens when enemies are respawning on you every five seconds. Are you? Oh, four hits. You in the four hits. All the enemies love four hit combos. Oh, what the? What happened there? Is that a glitch or is that an actual ability? Oh, these guys die. And you get Titanite shards still, like, oh my god. Come on, throw us a bone. Or a large Titanite shard, one of the two. So there's not really a huge point of killing these things, I guess. Oh, <laughs> that worked out well. I wonder if... yeah, it doesn't... oh no, never mind. Oh jeez, it's auto-targeting. Auto-targeting's always scary on ledges. We might need to turn it off. Oh, those ones gave us souls this time, though. So, maybe the guys with the... like, the guy we just fought before that, maybe that's the guy that respawns them? This is a possibility. I hear something coming towards me. But I don't know what it is. And I want to see if there... Okay, so there's... I want to get that. Yes, I do. Oh, oh. I really thought you could. But apparently that was not a smart idea at all, was it? Alright, you guys. Let's try this for round two. And let's see if... Um... The guys that we think are respawning people, if they actually respawn. I don't see him. So that's a good... Oh, I think he's there still. So let's try testing this out. So you are gonna respawn. I don't need to worry about that. So we knew that already. Let's kill you, though, and see if that changes anything, shall we? Oh yeah, okay, so invisibility is just one of your things. That's neat. Doesn't seem like it affects the skeletons visibly. There we go, we'll take that though. Hey, there's an arrow guy now, there wasn't one before. Uh, let's test out our theory though. Is this guy gonna give us souls now? Yes, he is. Okay, so that is the uh, necromancer in that area. Cool. That's easy. Take another titanite shard. Fine. What happened to our little skeleton dude? Oh, there you are. Souls retrieved. I'll take 10,000 souls if I gotta. Okay. Doesn't look like I can do anything there yet. I want this guy dead, though. Doesn't look like it's a secret wall to him. And this catacombs look very similar to the Dark Souls 1 ones. Actually, a little bit of Dark Souls 2 in there, too. A little bit of everything. Uh, let's see if there's a new Necromancer, if this is still the same area. Looks like it is the same Necromancer, because we're getting souls. So that's gonna make our life easy. I wonder how big an area they cover. Uh, we may as well go up to kill that one skeleton, because I don't like him. He shot me with an arrow, so he needs to die. I see one. I think another one's respawning behind me. Or I guess not respawning when he's spawning for the first time, but, you know. I think we got the general idea of what's going on here. Do do do. So this is where the, our friend Mr. Skeleton should be. Maybe he was hiding. Hmm. Okay. 
We might have killed them already. We might have been one of the ones that we killed. But let's take a tour through the top before we take a tour through the bottom. What's the trap? We know there is a trap. I see a switch. Thank you, message. What is the trap, though, is the question. Uh, I want to activate it, so we're going to heal. Because I want to know what we're dealing with. That's not bad. Okay. So as long as we've got a shield, we won't have any issues with this trap. Or at least this particular variety of trap. And so I can go down to an item. Oh, I thought we were going to die there. Okay, let's try going down and see what horrors await us down here. I'm sure there's nothing but happiness, right? Soul of Nameless Soldier. Okay. What's going to kill me? This is a creepy little place, ain't it? Nothing so far. Okay. <laughs> I love when the areas go quiet. It just gives this just perfectly forbidding atmosphere. And this game just does it so well. So that's another one of the Necros, I think. So let's see if we can sneak up behind him. There we go. Oh, this one has a hell of a lot of health. Oh, maybe not. Maybe just backstabs aren't doing all too, too much. Maybe he has defense, or maybe... Ooh, a kukri? Kukri? I don't know. Uh, let's... Put on this for a second, though, to see what we can find. Secret wall? Hey, it was. <laughs> I never expected to be secret walls, so whenever it happens, I'm just, like, so shocked. I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm like, uh, what is it? Uh, the quote of Batman is, I'm like a dog trying to catch my tail. I never know what I'm going to do if I actually get it. <laughs> uh, Karthus Pyromancy Tome, so I'm sure that's useful. Uh... And that guy isn't going to come back. So we may as well read those item descriptions because we have a couple. Carthus Rouge. Adds lacerating effect to right-hand weapon. Highly vicious scarlet plant secretions. Temporarily applies bleeding effect to right-hand weapon. Associated with warriors of Carthus, those blades take on the scarlet hues of both the sanguine substance and the splatters of their victim's blood. Coo? Ooh, what's this? Is this the Kukrai? Kukrai? Hmm. Small throwing machete. Throw at enemies to cause bleeding damage. A unique weapon originally used by swordsmen of Karthus, but now popular among bandits and thieves. So I feel like bleeding is going to be our main thing to deal with here. So I'm probably going to switch our poison thingamabob to the bleed one. Karthus Pyromancy Tome. A pyromancy tome from Karthus containing pyromancies crafted for battle. Give the old... Give to the old master pyromancer to blah blah blah. Karthus pyromancy is developed in isolation from other forms, explaining their divergent evolution. That is some good explaining, isn't it? Uh, so let's switch this to our bleed ring. And maybe that'll help us out a little bit. Gives us a decent chunk more bleed resistance, it seems. There we go, and we finally kill an archer. Is this... No, this is not the one that we fought. Oh, maybe it... No. I don't think so. Nope, this is a new one. So it's a good thing we killed him, because he'd probably cause us a big pain in the butt if we were going up those steps eventually. Probably knock us off to your, our death, you know, you know how it works. So I think that's good. I just want to see if there's any way of falling off this, but it didn't look like it. I don't think. Nothing there. I could fall maybe onto that, but that looks sketchy as all hell. Uh, and nothing else looks like I can really do much. Yeah, so I think this was a good way to go first, to help us out a little bit down the road, but now back to the regular... Oh, I guess this was the... a hidden wall path anyways, right? So that's actually really good. Thank God for that message. We're gonna have to keep on looking out for these uh, hidden walls, but hey, at least we found a couple. I'll take that, right? Alrighty. 
Uh, we're probably gonna wrap up the episode soon. I don't know if I'm going backwards or forwards right now. I think I'm going backwards. I think this is the way of progress. But let's see if we can get something uh, cool. We'll, we'll go for like another five minutes or so. Right? Five minutes sounds good. I see something. Looks scary. And it is an enemy. Which means there's probably another enemy to the side. Oh, it doesn't look like we are going to be able to target this, so, okay. Let's do some damage to ya. Yeah, I, oh, oh, sweet. Get some stamina, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you're going to bleed us, that's cool, because we're faster than you. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. You're a horrible person. You skeleton, no wonder. You're so horrible you can't even have skin. That's how bad you are. You're not allowed it. Oh, wah, wah. Stop this. Stop this madness. Oh, oh. Oh my god! No! Stop! This is stupid! Oh yeah! Let's go into a, an area we haven't been. That's great. Stupid pillars actually worked against me this time. Usually pillars are my favorite friend. And this time, not so much. Okay. Now that we are alive and well. Is that Estes soup? Nope. It's uh, an item. But this... Sh I wonder if we've killed... Yeah, we killed... The Necro... Let's go get our item. What's gonna kill us? Nothing? Tight. Why? Why the Titanite shards? Like, we have so many Titanite shards. I just don't understand what logic you have to do this to us. Alright, um... But I think this is where we're probably going to end it for the day you go. Oh, skeleton galore. And these ones all respawn? Or did we get souls from them? I didn't actually see. Uh, yeah, I think this is where we're going to end it, you guys, for the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, please smash that like button or subscribe to see more. And I will see you guys next time in another episode of Dark Souls 3.